Uh, good morning, guys, and welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, last time we were playing, we uh, pretty much spent the whole video forwarding. Uh, we brought a few loads. We completed that trail, that big loop around the lake or the river there, and uh, connected back up with the main road and cleaned up some of the pieces. Uh, so today we're coming back to this project on the mountainside here. Uh, I think today I'm just going to take it easy, and we're going to maybe process some loads and, you know, just have an easy day. That's my plan. Just got some shorts sitting here. I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll probably cut to longs. So we'll do 12s, I guess. Then we'll have a nice load of <clears throat> nice load of 12s to bring. Or what I might do is do half the pile. Let's see here. Let's do half the pile longs and then we'll put a split somewhere here. So let's grab these. And then we'll do shorts over here maybe so we'll do all these longs and we'll do all those shorts that sounds good alrighty well, let's get to her then how about it oh, let's turn our light on let will be able to see everything here oops we can learn how to pick up logs all right Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know to do with the tops. I me cut these to sixes, maybe. Seems like a waste not to use them for something. Mm. These big size trees. Nicer when you can just uh, kind of cut them to length and then get rid of the pieces, but when you're switching lengths all the time, you can uh, get a little bit trickier, but we can manage here, I think. Yeah, that top's barely even worth saving. I think I'm just going to turf that one. Oh, there we go. So yeah, the V6 mods came out last night. Uh, for the most part, I think it's uh, everybody's liking them pretty much. Definitely the tracks for the main uh, lure. A lot of people really like the track system. I knew they would because the other tracks kind of blew ass. They weren't very good. But the new ones are pretty rad. I haven't had any uh, problems going anywhere with these guys. No major complaints yet. I think the biggest complaint is probably the controls. People have to get used to uh, resetting up their controls, but you know what? That's not a big deal, really, is it? They'll figure it out. And the controls will be a lot better, too. It'll be easier for people to map, and as long as everybody watches that control video, they should be just fine. I don't see any potential problems coming up. <coughs> The majority of the problems with people can be solved just by watching the mod install video or the mod um, um, control video. So, hopefully, if anybody's having problems, they can just whip over and watch those and learn all the techniques of the wild. But overall, I think we're improving quite a bit. One step at a time. And these mods, I kind of... I don't want to say I dumbed them down, but I tried to make them a little more easy for everybody. And I don't think... I think a lot of people didn't really like that idea. But I wanted everybody to kind of have a chance to play them, and... I will agree, the way they were built before, there wasn't really a big chance of that, so... Because a lot of people couldn't set up the controls, or they didn't know what to do, or they weren't labeled properly, which was my own doing, so I just didn't know how to, uh... I didn't know how to, uh, label the outrigger controls. I didn't know you could actually change the names of them, so that was kind of neat to find out. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Something different. Things you learn as you go. And I got a whole bunch of new funky machines coming out here soon, so that should be fun. Make everything nice and interesting. Cut it a little bit. 
fire in that. There we go. Definitely liking the new tree physics, though. The way these trees settle is just, I don't know, perfect. I think I'm going to leave these tree physics alone. I don't think I'm going to screw with them anymore. Because this is probably the closest I've ever had them to being, well, somewhat realistic. I mean, they're never going to be dead on, obviously, because the graphics are just not like that. But it's definitely the closest I've uh, ever had them. Here. A little too close to my pile here now. There we go. Oop. The relaxing sport of processing. Yeah. So I should be getting some time off work here soon, so that'll be nice. Another couple weeks. We're just going to night shift now, so that usually signifies we're within a couple weeks of closing down, which is awesome because I'm ready for a break. It's been a lot of work this year, so... Seven days a week for the last fucking four months. It's been just great. It's nice to get a little bit of a time out. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be able to, so I'll be able to sit back and just, uh, work on mods strictly, I think, for a while. Might get a vacation in there, too, we'll see. But I definitely enjoy, uh, definitely enjoy modding. It's a nice break from all the other avenues of life. And we definitely have quite a few uh, projects on the go still, so... Many projects to go. <coughs> We're in a nice little pile here, huh? Beautiful deck. Let's kind of line these up over here a little more. There we go. Try to put that one on top of that deck. Fish out the little pieces here. Right? Well, like I said, now that I got kind of a core group of machinery that's uh, kind of working to the way I want it, like everything's pretty well as good as it can be right now for for the knowledge that I have anyway. But I mean, like this, everything's working nice, everything's smooth, there's no real big glitches or noticeable stuff that bothers me. So, um, now that I have, like I said, a, a baseline, something that works that I like, I can, uh, I can start making new machines now without the worry of going back and changing all the old ones. Unless I discover something absolutely revolutionary, but it's been a while since we've had that. The newest thing is definitely the tracks, that was a pretty revolutionary step for my modding, but... Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on for new stuff. Like everything's pretty, uh, pretty functional now. <coughs> and now that everything's nice and functional, um, I should be able to create some new funky machines. So there's definitely some plans coming down the pipeline here. New plans, new ideas, new fun stuff. It's gonna be good times.
one thing I really like about these new logs is they actually stack really nice. In my opinion, they stack nice compared to all the other ones that we've done anyway. And then maybe these guys will just do sixes out of them. <coughs> just to kind of break up the monotony a little bit, change it up. Eh. These aren't very squared up logs, are they? up with my pile here. There we go. The straighter you are, the easier it is, that's for darn sure. Because if you're all half-ass kiltered to the left or right, it makes things a little bit tricky for cutting. And we don't want those pesky tops getting in there, neither. There we go. No tops. What do we say to tops? Not today. <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna have my morning cough session here. Since this is pretty much the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is live streams, you guys get to hear it. Woohoo! Or live streams, recordings, whatever. Oh, come on. Come on. Hey. Some of these logs like to play hard to get. Need another one out of that? Nah, I don't like it. Don't like it. There's lots of wood. We don't. We can be picky with our pieces here. I just want the bigger gaze. I don't want the little thin, narrow pieces. See, like that's acceptable. It's pretty uniform all the way through. And then you get to a top like that, and it's like, no thanks. There we go. <coughs> Had a whole bunch of people request that I uh, use the wood chipper, but I've never used it yet. It might happen eventually. I'm just I don't know. I've got so much things going on. I'm just not interested in learning how to use a new thing right now. Apparently, it's pretty easy. Load the wood chips in, shoot the pipe into a trailer or something. But then you know what? Every time I use a new piece of equipment to do with forestry, that's game like stock game. I usually get irritated by something it doesn't do, and then I go off into this tangent where I have to build it better. And you know, there goes the whole point of starting something new. <laughs> that's me. It's like, oh, wood chipper. Oh, this sucks. You know, it'd be better if this, if it had this, if it had this, if it had this. And then I'm off and I build something way different and more wacky and. Which is sometimes good, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood to do that. Sometimes I just want to do what I know because it's fun and it's relaxing. And that's kind of what I like to stick to. There's lots of time for new stuff. <coughs> ah, oh, we had it. There we go. There's still a lot of trees to come down that hill, so maybe after I'm done this, we'll skid some more down here just for fun. Just for shits and giggles. <coughs> lots to process, <coughs> or lots to skid and lots to... Uh, Lots to fall down up there still. 
I just started working on a new map, too, last night, which will be the new sort of a fall setting. So that'll be kind of fun, do something different. <coughs> so far it looks pretty good, though. We should gonna get our wood chipper in here and go clean some of this crap up too. There, yeah, last tree. And maybe what we'll do is we'll skid some of that other stuff down the hill here too. man cool so we got some sort of three quarter lengths that we can throw in there with the longs here we got about I'd say maybe one loads worth of longs maybe a bunk two bunks worth of shorts here and maybe what I'll do right away is just clean up our little pile I should get a picture of this actually it's kind of nice picture time picture time That's pretty good, right there. I like that. Perfect. All right. So let's uh, let's try to think for skidding, bringing it down here. You know what I might do? I might skid it like kind of half-assly down here, so I have space, and then I'll just pile it with the loader to make it all nice and lined up for the for the processor. Uh, what do we do with this thing? Turn it on. That's what we do. Oh, easy boy. This thing turns about as sharp as my machines now, so could be careful. Hey, there we go. Now I get it. Um, this thing's like a little shop back. I love it. I don't want to hit those trees though. See how close I can get to this one without destroying the forest. Oh, there we go. Nice. There you go. Just like that, cleaned up. I got some nice little piles. I'm going to park this little bugger over in the bushes here. I love how this thing has no engine effects. It's just. Hilarious. I love it. So much fun. Yeah, so let's uh, let's hop over to our skitter. And let's see what we can do about bringing some of this wood down the hill. How about it? This is going to be some fun trekking. Let me tell you. It's just some steep-ass stuff, so... It'll be pretty funny trying to bring it down here. Actually, you know what I might do is I might... Uh, well, we'll get this one anyway for sure. I don't know how well that's going to go down. So we'll find out here in a minute. I'm sure we're gliding down the hill on our tracks here. Boop. <laughs> I love how it does that. It's ridiculous. It's kind of cool. So we'll see how close we can get this stuff here. Oops. There we go. Sometimes you have to relock and unlock. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump it right along here. And we'll see how close we can get it without hitting these piles. Probably right about here's a safe drop point. I just don't want to run over these nice piles that we made here, so we'll just glide the edges. Actually, technically what I could do is I can move these shorts to go over with those shorts using the loader here. Then we'll do longs and short piles opposite of each other so that we have some space. <coughs> That's probably the better idea. So we'll just call this our short deck over here. That won't be too hard for loading either, so... 
Then we can just grab some of these and just kind of fish them over that way. but it shouldn't be too bad for for what we're doing we should be okay again I can't get over how well these logs settle now I don't know it makes me really happy they sit in the grapple really nice very realistic I think probably people will take some time to try to get used to them but after a while they'll realize that they're uh, a lot better than they ever were Shovel some of these on top of here. There we go. beautiful pile and because there's no real uh, tapered tops in there everything settles a lot nicer too so it is good to separate your tops for sure there we have it cool Yeah, it sure doesn't look like much after all that cutting, but uh, it's kind of funny. It's a decent amount of wood for sure. Alright, see now we get this huge area. What I might do is back this uh, processor up here. Give ourselves even more space for the skitter. And then, uh, yeah, we can just keep cutting into longs, do some more long decks, do some more short decks, keep moving the logs around. Just make a productive little site here. It could be fun. And then eventually, if I ever get that slasher done, um, Hell, I I've got, I've got started, like, the phys or the uh, model's all set up and ready to go, but I have to do, uh, have to do the actual body mechanics and all that fun stuff. So if I ever get that all set up and nice, the, um, that thing should make the production a little faster on things like shorts. And I should really come up this hill and get this crap out of the way, because I can see the tail end of my skitter is going to be running into this all the time. So maybe we'll just do that really quick. We're going to bunch just this little section out really fast because this is going to be a bad tail end. Pretty much just this little grouping of trees right here. So we're going to take the, the sexy buncher here. God, I love those tracks turning now. Oh. Where have you been all my life? Alright, so... This is going to be interesting for how we're going to lay these. So maybe what I'll do is we're going to grab them out of here first. And maybe I'll just lay them right here. Is that a nice spot? What do we think? Actually, I kind of want them tilted a little more the other way here. Yeah, that should be all right, I think. I don't know, we're going to find out anyway. Some angle cutting here. Oh, doesn't like it from that angle, so we're going to go down below here. This is the best way to cut them, right? This way. We'll just add this one to this pile since we're so close. Hmm. 
Should we brave it and try to grab two? Sure, why not, hey? I'm just gonna march over here and put him with this one. And take out this little file here. Grab this one. Oh. Must have got it at the perfect angle there for the cut. You see it hung up. And like I said, this will just kind of clear out this back end for us so when we're skidding, we won't have the tail end of our logs always hitting this pile when we go to make this big turn here. do is I'll try to get both of these here. Kind of got both of them. <laughs> and I'm going to lay them this way and be kind of wacky here. I know it's kind of backwards to my skinning piles over there, but I have a plan, so it should be all good. that. Ah, yeah. Good, good. Actually, you should check our time on this video, too. 27. Oh, we're getting there. Pretty close, man. Pretty close. I can bump that one up a little there. There we go. So by the time I'm done knocking the rest of these trees down, we should be done the video here, I think. We'll see how things go here. Oop. And we'll cut out this one. Put it on top up here. Uh, it should be a big enough of a tail end to get through here. Maybe we'll just grab this one right here just to clean it up. Just to make it a nice even line here. Alright. Now we're going to park Mr. Buncher over in the bushes here. Cool. Alright. So I might be able to back the skitter up and grab that pile from the hill. It'll be kind of a wacky grab. If not, I'm going to push it one way and grab it and do some funky stuff. Um, let's see here. See, so yeah, that should be enough. I mean, then we got this whole tail end to spin when we go down this hill. I'll probably take it straight off this corner and then drop it down into that hole. It's going to be fun. Here, we'll do one skitter grab down to the landing. And then uh, I'll call the video. I just want to see what this tail end looks like here now. Oh, squeeze it too tight, man. Well, it's all locked up. We'll see what happens here. See, now that all those trees are gone, we should be able to make this turn. It'll probably lift our skitter up a little bit, but at least it will, uh... Yeah, nice. Yeah, because last, uh, last time I was dicking around, I found that, uh... We kept hitting the, uh... The back end of all these long trees onto that... Onto those, uh, standing timber there, and it made a big mess. 
But fear no more, man. We got our... There we go. Stellar. Alright, well, we're going to leave this guy parked here for now. And I guess we'll call it the end of the video. Uh, maybe the next video, I might continue the forwarding project, or I might uh, actually just keep moving on this for a little bit. Because I'm kind of having fun with both sides. And then, uh, hopefully soon, we're going to be starting a a new project on a new area of the map, too. Just to add some uh, new strangeness to it. So, Anyways, alright guys, we'll uh, catch you on the next one. See ya.